Welcome to another tech tip video where today we're going to take a look at some of my favorite tips and tricks while sketching, particularly adding dimensions and relationships. These are the foundation to most things you do inside of SolidWorks, so a few tips here will probably save you a lot of time. Let's go ahead and start by drawing a simple circle. I want this to be 50 millimeters in diameter. Normally in SolidWorks you do this by first drawing the circle and then choosing the dimension tool and adding the dimension and typing the value in. This fully defines the circle just as you would expect. But there's a much faster way to do this inside of SolidWorks using a few options. So let's start by going to System Options, Sketches, and if you look near the bottom you'll see a set of two checkboxes. The first one is called Enable On-Screen Numeric Input on Entity Creation. Let's go ahead and press OK and see what this option does. Now when we draw that same circle, you'll notice that there is a dimension located near where my cursor is. If I happen to type a dimension in, SolidWorks will change the size of that circle to be that size. We can see this by looking at the radius in the property manager, which is half of 50. But if we look back at the sketch, we can see that the geometry is still blue and requires us to continue to add that dimension of 50 millimeters. This is where that second option comes in. So let's return to System Options, Sketch, and let's enable that second option. Create dimension only when valued is entered. I'm going to go ahead and press OK and we'll create that same circle a third time. This time when we type in the value of 50, SolidWorks not only draws the sketch but it adds the dimension as well, fully defining it. So this is a big time saver and the great part about this command is if you draw a piece of geometry and don't specify a dimension, SolidWorks won't add it. So this gives you the flexibility to add them when you know the values or add them later or apply relationships to them, which is actually what we're going to do next. The next thing that I would like to do is I would like to ensure that these two circles are both tangent and the same diameter to one another. To do this in SolidWorks, you can select two pieces of geometry by holding the control key and SolidWorks presents you with a pop-up menu. The first relationship we said we wanted to establish was tangent to one another, so I'll choose this option. Now, at this point, the pop-up menu disappears, but we still wanted to make sure that these circles were equal to one another. Now, we could do this by, again, going over to the Property Manager and choosing Equals while the geometry is selected, but a faster way of doing this is while the geometry is still selected and immediately after you apply the first relationship, press the Control key again and it will bring the pop-up right back. This way you can go and select one of the other relationships that's presented there. The last thing I want to show is how to add sketch relationships automatically on the fly or rather how to possibly remove them. To do this I'm going to go ahead and draw a line. The first trick I want to show is when you draw a line off of a circle. If you start the line anywhere on the circle and you drag out tangent to that circle you notice that SolidWorks maintains that tangent relationship. Likewise, SolidWorks allows you to snap to geometry, and if you're close enough to the tangent condition of that relationship, SolidWorks will make the line tangent as well. You can see this by looking at the yellow icons to the lower right of your cursor. But what if you don't want to create those relationships? Let's draw another line. This time, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start the line by pulling it out tangent again. And again, you'll notice that SolidWorks is going to try to automatically create those sketch relationships. But sometimes this isn't what you want. If you press the control key while you're holding your, uh, while you're moving your cursor, you'll see that those icons disappear no matter how much I hover over those locations. And in fact, when I place this entity and we look at it, we can see that no sketch relationships have been added to that line at all. So this is a great way when you're trying to sketch close to something, but you actually don't want to create a sketch relationship. So there you go, a couple of really quick tips that you can use while sketching in SolidWorks to save you a lot of time. Hopefully you found these valuables, and please leave your comments below.